Even as the country debates whether or not to allow genetically modified BT brinjal in the country, mainly focusing on health risks, another big danger that's lurking is that Indian farmers will lose control over their seeds with monopolistic MNCs coming in. Some say that could become a threat to India's food sovereignty. The Andhra Pradesh government calls genetically modified BT cotton a success story, but has written to the center seeking a moratorium on BT brinjal. We have supported as far as BT cotton is concerned because we were totally convinced. When it comes to BT brinzal, we are not at all convinced. This support is reflected in the area under BT cotton, growing from about 6% of total cotton crop area in 2004-2005 to 39% in 2007 and to more than 80% this year. Activists say that's also because the farmer has been left with no option because non-BT cotton seeds have disappeared from the market. Hardly now in the market there are only two or three varieties which are available and uh, there is no access for the farmer to reach that kind of uh, non-BT seeds. In the next uh, another one year or two years, the other 20% also will disappear and the entire cotton going farmers will be at the mercy of this particular MNC. What this means is that the farmer will have no control on the seed and he will have to buy every season from the seed company and cause spiral. Cotton seeds which cost 40 to 50 rupees for a packet became 450 rupees for a hybrid variety and 1850 rupees for a GM version. The AP government went to a MRTP court to bring the price down to about 800 rupees. The production, distribution and control of seeds is regulated by the Seeds Act of 1966 which does not mention anything about genetically modified seeds which in effect means that there is no legal framework to monitor the activities of such MNCs which are virtual monopolies in dealing with GM seeds. In Hyderabad, Uma Sudhir, NDTV.